everybody. Are you ready to get ripped? Are you ready to get shredded? Are you ready to learn only the best foods and put your body and stay away from that evil, dirty, disgusting foods that are only gonna ruin your life? The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! Then if so, click the link below and let's get started. <sighs> uh, yeah, no thank you. Seriously, folks. How many times do you see that a day on Facebook? 30 day challenge. I want to get shredded. I want to get ripped. Abs, six pack, core, tone, this, that, good food, bad food, perfect diet, all that stuff. We are constantly inundated with it every minute of every day, all over social media, all over TV, all over movies. We cannot get away from it. We sit there, even ourselves, and post Oh, I'm ready to start my diet. Oh, I'm ready to start this challenge. Oh, I'm the last weekend to enjoy food. It's my last weekend. I have to time the end of my diet just right because the holidays are coming up. I have to do this just right because if I don't, then I can't have my cheat meal at the end of the week. We do it constantly. And all of us like those posts, share those posts, promote it out everywhere. But there's something you're not realizing while you're doing all that. The biggest thing you're not realizing is who's actually seeing that stuff. And those people are our kids. I constantly hear stories from friends, from clients, from this and that, about kids under 15, under 10, talking about how they're too fat, how they don't look good, how this is bad, how that is bad. I, I, I can't believe some of the things I hear coming out of kids' mouth. Now, do you think they're just coming up with that? Or do you think they're learning it from watching TV, movies, on social media if they're old enough to be on it? In school, all that stuff, they're hearing it. And the biggest place they're hearing it from is from you guys, from the parents, from the people that sit there and talk this nonsense. They hear it. Remember, kids learn by watching you. Not necessarily what you're saying, but by watching you. And I, I mean by listening to you too, but a lot of it's by your own actions. And what they're seeing is their parents worrying about if a food is good or bad. What do you think that's teaching your kids? It's teaching your kids that some food is good and some food is bad. So if they eat that food, then they're bad and they're worthless. And if they do good, then maybe they're worth something. This, this, is, this is insane to me. They're learning that if they don't have a six-pack ab, or if they're not every muscle is bulging out of their body, or if they have a little bit of skin hanging here, or a little bit of skin hanging there, they're worthless. They're not trying hard enough. They're not doing everything they can to be healthy. And what's that word? Do they even know what healthy is? Or do they just assume that being healthy is being fit? So if you don't look fit, and you can't do 500 push-ups, then you're automatically not healthy. This, this is what our kids are learning. They're learning this stuff. It's bad enough all the stuff they're hit with every day, all the stuff going on in the world. I don't care what side of the fence you're on. There's a lot of craziness out there. And they're soaking all this in. And the only place they have to go is us, the parents. That's where they have to go. That's the place they need to go to feel safe, to learn how to be an adult, to learn how to be a better person. And if we're sitting there, constantly worrying about every little thing we put in our mouth and constantly worrying about what type of exercise we do and saying that we're worthless or cheat meals. Whoever would have thought that cheat would have been a good thing? I always thought cheating was bad. But no, we talk about our cheat meals. We talk about only doing well and then maybe we can be bad. Think about what we're teaching these kids. I mean, we're supposed to lead by example and we're not. How many times have you talked to your kids about, wow, I did this workout today and I just feel really good from it. You know what, I did this exercise today or I did this thing for myself today 
And you know what, mommy, daddy, I'm not in pain today. I feel really good. You know how mommy's back hurts all the time? Well, I did this thing for myself and I feel great. It just goes to show you that moving and exercise could be good for you. No, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about any of that. We just tell them that sweets are bad and everything, now, obviously. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you people that eating vegetables is not better than eating ice cream. I'm not saying that. But when you stigmatize something and make it bad and good, you're, you're instilling some real messed up thinking patterns to a kid. They're gonna take that onto their adulthood and be messed up adults. Instead of doing things like I just said, like saying, oh, I feel really good. You know why mommy or daddy works out? Because I feel really good from doing it. You know why mommy and daddy work out? Because I want to keep doing this activity that I enjoy. And as you get older, things don't work the same. Just like a car, as a car gets older, if you don't take care of it, it's not going to work right. And that's why mommy or daddy does what they do. To feel better. To have that longevity. No, we don't talk about that. You think movie stars and all these people are talking about how good they feel from a workout? No. It's so they look good so they could be in a movie to do a specific part or be in a photo shoot or anything. And that's what our kids are seeing and that's what our kids are worrying about. And I know a lot of trainers out there are trying to help people, but go the, the things they promote, I get. I know what sells. By the way, I'm sorry about my landscapers outside, so bear with me. I know what sells. I know losing weight sells. I know losing body fat sells. I understand that. But people, when that's all we promote, we're instilling some really messed up things to people and a lot of them already have issues and we're making it worse by doing that. And I know we're trying to help. I'm not saying trainers are only out. I mean, I'm sure there's a few trainers out there just to make a buck, no doubt. And I, but I know a lot of them are just trying to help and make a living at the same time and it's not easy. But by you just promoting 30-day challenges all the time about just losing weight and being shredded, maybe instead try a 30-day challenge about somebody feeling better. Or a 30-day challenge about people being a little looser and not feeling so tight and having um, movements that they can't do anymore. Or getting out of pain. Or doing a 30-day challenge of not eating sweets or soda every day of the week. Or a 30-day challenge of whatever. Insert whatever you want. And get off of this ripped and fit and that's all that matters BS unless you are a bodybuilder or a physique model or a movie star or whatever this should be your top priority it should be being healthy and living a long life and being out of as much pain as possible and being able to do all the things you love for as long as you can these kids are the next generation we need to be responsible enough to teach them that health being strong, you know, everybody talks about the strength of the youth and everything else. So the strength of them depends on what they look like. You promote, it doesn't matter what you look like, but at the same time as an adult, you're worrying about what you look like and promoting that to your kids. It needs to stop. We need to promote health. We need to promote doing things because we enjoy them. We need to promote doing things that we know we need for our body, just like taking medicine when you're sick, you need certain things to do when your body needs it. And that's why I will never promote ever in my business, whether I lose money or I don't lose money, I don't make enough, whatever it is, I will never, ever, ever promote 30 day ripped core ab challenges, anything like that, I'll never do it. Me struggling with my weight all my life, going through what I went through, watching my mom go through all that stuff, I will not ever, ever promote that. Even, like I said, if I, I, I lose out thousands of dollars because I won't do it. I am only gonna promote getting people healthy. And obviously, when you're healthy and you're doing things correctly, guess what happens, people? If you're overweight, a lot of times you're gonna lose weight. And a lot of times you're gonna lose the right kind of weight and you're gonna gain strength, and you're gonna gain muscle. And again, here's a little secret I wanna tell everybody. Being tone should stick in the music industry. When you get stronger and gain a little bit of muscle, that's when you look better. So stop using that word too, okay? Let's be real here, people. Let's think about not just ourselves, but our kids. 
Let's think about teaching them so they don't have to be in the spots we are at because most of you are there. Most of you are struggling about food, struggling about the way you look. You don't want to look in the mirror. You don't want your picture taken. You criticize yourself every time you see yourself. Stop. Even if you can't help yourself and you don't think you'll ever be better, stop promoting this crap to kids, please. And the trainers out there, you guys need to do the same thing. You guys need to start worrying about health and not just counting calories and not just doing a certain amount of steps every day because you think that's going to make you healthy. You need to take some responsibility and teach these people the right way to do things so that they can be healthy, have that longevity, and pass that on to their kids.